Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is material? The actor position WS or world space node. I've gone ahead. I've got a quick little example here. Let's go ahead and look at the node itself, and then we will run through the example. So the actor position node can be found by typing in actor, and you'll get actor position WS, where the WS stands for world space. Basically, this is the XYZ, or RGB, location of this actor's root, or pivot, or home point inside of our world. Now to show that an example, I have this material applied to this wall. Now this entire wall's color is going to be based in RGB on its location. Now I'm dividing by a thousand to make this a little easier. So for example, if I'm to move it along the right, or my X, or my red, you'll notice it's going to start going red as I start moving it. And if we watch our location here, Let's go to the other side, make it easier. Here we go. And we watch our location. As I get closer to 1000, it's going to get closer to a full red value. This would be full red at 1000. This would be full green at 1000. And this would be full blue at 1000. Because I've gone ahead and told it to divide by 1000, so that way it's easier. If I didn't divide by 1000, remember red, green, blue, our colors are in 0 to 1. So immediately, once I moved it anywhere past one unit, it's going to immediately go to full color. So let me just show you what I mean by this. What I've got here is a color of a purple. It's 0 0.622, 0 0.31, let's round this, make this rounder, 0 0.622, 0 0.31, and 1. X, Y, Z, R, G, B. So if I was to take and put in those numbers, 622, 310, and 1,000, because we're dividing by 1,000, we can duplicate this color. So 622, 310. So we'll go 622, 310, and 1,000. And you'll notice, based on where this is in the world, this actor's position, it is this color, which corresponds with the RGB values, or the XYZ that we're seeing here. So that is the actor position world space node. You could use it, for example, of if you wanted to know the distance between two things, maybe how far is this item from the camera, maybe you want to color code it, maybe it shows the full material if it's within a thousand units, and after that maybe you want it just to fade out or fade to a darker color because your player can't see it anymore. Maybe kind of like a depth thing. So you could always take the actor position and the camera position, get the distance between the two of them, and then adjust your texture accordingly. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.